Hello and welcome to Tom's Planner, a tool that enables you to create project schedules and publish them online in an easy and fast way. The main purpose of this getting started tutorial is to help guide you to get more out of Tom's Planner. Let's actually begin with a little tip. In Tom's Planner, the magic is in the right click. Except for the toolbar, all features are accessed by right-clicking your mouse. This will explain itself later in this tutorial. If you are a Mac user, keep the control key pressed and click on the screen to access the menus. Let's start by opening the tool. Before we start making our Gantt chart, we can adjust the timeline. Here you can adjust visible elements and choose the type of schedule you want to use. After adjusting the timeline, we can start by filling a series of groups and rows. Through right-clicking, a menu will appear. Here you can choose to insert, remove or copy groups and rows, or you can change the order by inserting or removing columns. Let's take a look at the chart area. To add a period, we right-click again and choose Add Period and then choose a color. We can change the duration of a period or change its position. To change the location of a series of periods, you can select them as a group. You can also select groups of periods by using the Shift key. You can add or remove individual periods by clicking on them while pressing the shift key at the same time. It can be useful to add comments to periods. In the menu you will find this option. Another option is to add symbols to your project planning. We have selected a wide variety to choose from. As you can see, the colors that you have selected for the periods have been added to the legend. Here you can describe them, and labels will automatically appear if you hover above the periods. You can add and remove colors and symbols from the legend by again right-clicking. When you are ready, choose Save to save the planning on your computer. Safe and secure. A final tip, when you want to move a period or a selection of periods past the scroll bar, don't do this too fast, because then it won't move. Well, that pretty much covers a typical process one might take with Tom's Planner. We hope you will enjoy using Tom's Planner and it will help you get control back over your project plannings.